Can you please make some noise, put your hands together, clap and stomp your feet for the, for the fighter in the blue corner, Alina Douglas! And her opponent in the red corner, Marie McMahon! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, your first fight this evening will be contested over five one and a half kilograms rounds in the novice category, set at 56 kilos. Please can you give a warm welcome to the fighter standing in the blue corner representing Lion King. If you're just joining us, you are here at the Raw Combat League up here in the Watford Coliseum, North London, and it is going to be fireworks, lights, camera, action, the whole shebang right here. Promotion put together by your promoter, Mr. Christian Knowles. Referee for the action, Mr. Sean Boland. I'm Danny Kendrick, and I'm joined in the commentary box by Mr. Alex Foreman and Mr. Dave Fensom. Douglas from the Lions Gym in the blue corner and Maria McManaman from the Nosey Academy. Not messing about these girls, straight into the action. Big stage for two young girls here, isn't it? Yeah, it's a massive stage for these two girls. Big show. It's a great stage to make your amateur debut. Many people joining us online on the live feed as well. So welcome to you back home and I just want to say to you, you are missing out if you're missing the atmosphere in this venue right now. Absolutely full to the ceiling that stand up there Alex and this is only the first bout of the evening. You know as we go into round four of um, Raw Combat this has got to be the busiest I've seen the Watford Coliseum, it looks fantastic. Chris and Katie have done an amazing job and um, this is a great way to open the show. These two girls are technically really, really good. Really good. They're exchanging kicks. So the, uh, the Nosey Academy uh, girl here, McManaman, she's kicking and then punching on the end of the kick, which is a good way again. Do you know, it's a lot of, a lot of people, they just finish on the kick in a combination. And I think at the moment, that's the scoring at the moment. Oh, nice stepping knee from the Lions girl as well at the end. But a really, really impressive bout so far. Also got Dave Fensham in the commentary box after a very good first round. How have you got these girls? It's really early to tell at the moment, but uh, it's interesting to see how Red Corner's using her range, timing that left body kick nicely as she comes in. But like I say, early early days. That left body kick was the, uh, the deciding factor in that round, I thought, Dave. Yeah, me too, me too. Um, she's using her range well, and if she can just block the kick and then counter with that shot, then she's going to be leagues ahead. Do you know what I like most about the left body kick in that particular round was it wasn't just like she was flicking it up. She was actually turning it over and striking across the across the torso. It wasn't just flicking it up to score points. She was actually trying to drive it right through the, the opponent, which was good. Yeah, really valid point. And that's something that sometimes people just flick the kick. It's got to show effect to score. Great 
Lovely time teeth there by Alana. A little, little bit of range in the legs there, if you notice as well. And that is actually being effective at the moment. Score to the body there. Holding the ropes there though. Elena's oh, doing the right thing yeah. now. She does need to close that range down because Maria is using it really, Looks really strong. well, Danny. She's got her hands wrapped around her head there, tugging her into those knees. And it's always a sign of weakness for me when a fighter has their hands on the inside of the clinch to block knees. Lovely left body kick again, well caught, and a lovely takedown by Maria McManaman. I didn't even tee up the body kick out, didn't set it up by switching her stance. No, she, she just, let just the picked kick it up nice, up. didn't yeah, she, Danny? Lovely. Yeah. You watch tyres do that a lot to open up. Oh, look, the hands as well are a little bit sharper for me, going through the centre of the guard of, of uh, Douglas. She just looks better drilled, doesn't she, Danny? She looks like she's been drilling these things, like she's doing... She's doing the same things, but simple. She's going to work on Douglas, that's the thing. Douglas, is, at the moment, looks a little bit out of ideas. She's waiting for it. And look look how low her hand is yeah, to block those knees. That's a sign of weakness. The, yeah, definitely. Well, hands up. She's waiting for opponents to come there, but that goes down as a massive round. That's a Maria massive McManaman, round for Maria, sure. Danny. Yeah. Up the middle. And uh, blue corner, like you say, popping her hands down, just trying to defend those knees in the in the wrong way and getting scored on all over. That was a big round for Red. Massive. She was tucking her elbows in nice as well. What I thought when she did have her in the clinch in the far corner, she just dug those elbows, it created a bit of distance and drive that knee in. Yeah, just allowed her to pop the hips back and push the knees up the middle. Strong round for Red. Well, third of five, one and a half minute rounds here for these girls. Again, scoring fluently to the body there is McManaman. That range is absolutely taking this fight out of the way of Douglas now, isn't it? Massively. Uh, lovely catch and, and right cross and, uh, as she pulled it into that off, off when she caught the front kick. Brilliant technique by McManaman. I think she could, she, she could really do with staying on that lead leg. It's really reddening up now, the, the lead leg of Douglas. Just moving around fluently, almost waiting for the taller, rangier fighter of McManaman. She's not that much taller, to be honest, but where she's fighting at range... The legs so seem so bigger. much longer, yep, don't yep. you, though, Danny? Because of the way she's kicking Alex at the moment. Look, inside, outside. Oh, she's going to turn away now. A corner look angry, but she's going to get a count there. Her heart's been broken now. I think she's going to pull. I said to you in the interval, I could see her stopping third or fourth. I don't see this fight carrying on past. And the referee's called that one. You called it right. You can I'll see the you emotion what. in Maria McManaman's face as well, how badly she wanted that win. Commiserations. Maria McManaman, she's laid it down here on the Raw Combat League for sure. And Elena Douglas will have every lesson learned when she watches this back. But it takes courage, guts and determination to get in there in the first place. The two girls are in unbelievable girls. shape, aren't they, as well? Yep. You know, they, they both trained really hard and it's unfortunately someone has to win. So I think that was the right decision made by Sean Bull in there. Fighter didn't really want it and she was just going to get herself out. Over to our MC for the uh, official result. Just talking to the coach of Marie McManaman there, Christian Knowles. What a good fight that he's got there, making a debut in the amateur rankings. And the fight in the blue corner, the referee's probably unable to continue, making your winner. One minute and nine seconds into round three. Fighting out of the red corner, no hit And there it is, your winner, Maria McManaman. Over halfway through the third round, the referee stops the fight. And Elena Douglas 
unfortunately has had to retire due to referee stoppage. But a fantastic result for Maria McManaman. A great way to open Raw Combat. Muay Thai round four. Dave, what did you think of the fight all in all? Yeah, I thought it was a good good uh, first fight for McManaman. Uh, very skillful girl. You wouldn't think it was a first fight, would you? No, not the at all. The way she was scoring body kicks on the back foot and stuff like that. I think, like you said as well, when she stepped back and switched with the kick, she was still putting her hip over, Yeah. still putting power into the shot. It was really good. She could be really good. 